Well, welcome back. A parent's worst nightmare is truly helplessly watching their child suffer. That was the experience for one local family as their daughter was diagnosed with epilepsy. But with the help of UT Physicians team, a seven-year-old Darian is feeling much better now. And here with more is UT Physicians pediatric neurologist Dr. Gretchen von Allman, along with Victoria de Saint and Darian's mom. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> uh, Dr. Von Allman, I'd like to start with you first of all. When we hear the words pediatric epilepsy, I think it's very scary for parents and children to hear this. What exactly is that? I know this is a broad spectrum diagnosis here. So basically, uh, all epilepsy means is that you have a tendency to have seizures, and a seizure is defined as when the brain has um, synchronized electrical activity that makes the body do various things. So from shaking to staring. Um, and all epilepsy means is that you have a tendency to have these kind of unpredictable uh, events called seizures. And these can last from a few seconds to minutes and, and basically um, it, it just depends on the diagnosis when this is happening. Right. So. The way the brain causes seizures, it can be the whole brain involved in the abnormal activity or it can just be one focal area of the brain that's involved in starting the seizure. And depending on what area the brain is causing it, then that's what produces the symptoms you see when the seizure happens. And we do want to mention that a team of experts and doctors worked on Darian, not just one physician. Uh, but if I can have Victoria DeSaint and uh, Darian there. Um, Victoria, talk to us about when Darian had her first seizure. And that must have been traumatic and very scary for you, for her, for the whole family. Correct. For my husband and I, we, um, we just noticed her sleeping and her mouth began twitching. And at first we were like, okay, that's kind of odd. But then eventually, you know, she was on medication and then she started seizing more. And then it, it turned into like a grand mal seizure where she was seizing for over 20 minutes. We had to take her to the emergency room and it, it was very scary. I can only imagine what that was like to witness that and, and helplessly watching this happen. Uh, Darian was six years old and having had several seizures a day. Um, and as you said, that they were small and then progressively got worse or got stronger. Um, when medicine did not work for her to control those seizures, what did you do, Victoria? Um, we had switched from one neurologist to another, and then eventually when she, last October, about a year ago, she was actually seizing uh, 16 to 18 times a day with medication. So we were referred to Dr. Von Allman's team, and we got put into the epilepsy unit at the Children's Memorial Hospital. And um, they just went to work on her and, and really came up with a plan that was super beneficial for her. And super beneficial, meaning she is, uh, her quality of life and seizures has truly improved, correct? Correct. That is fantastic. Dr. Von Allman, if you can, I know this is very specific to her, but what, what type of procedure did work for Darian? So basically when we have children that don't respond to the medications that we usually use to control epilepsy, uh, there's about one third of the children who don't respond to any of the medications we have, and Darian was in that group. Uh, first, we do an evaluation in the hospital and do various tests that tell us exactly where the seizures are coming from in the brain. And then we decide whether we can remove that area surgically, safely, um, as a team. And um, so luckily for, for Darian and for us, uh, there was a very focal area involved in her seizures. And so um, in the operating room, the neurosurgeon and I are there together and um, we were able to remove the area of tissue that started her seizures and didn't cause her any other deficits or problems um, from that surgery. And so our goal is to make patients seizure free after the surgery, which so far Darian has been. What an incredible story and to document everything that she's been through. By the way, Darian's surgery was just three months ago. Okay, Darian, you had us all by those smiling photos in the hospital before, during, and after. You are just a doll. How are you feeling today? And uh, tell me what life is like now. Well, today I'm feeling great. With all the family, I've been having them for 
but I don't know what I could do without them. And today I'm feeling great. School is back on track, and my I don't know what I would do without my family and all the people who helped me through this rough time. Oh, girl, you're going to make us all cry. We are so proud of you, and what a special young girl, and what a great reunion that we're having right here. I know virtually, um, but it's been great to talk to you. Of course, Dr. Gretchen von Allman, UT Physicians Pediatric Neurologist, Victoria DeSaint, and, of course, Darian. Thank you all for your time today. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. And stay healthy. If you would like more information or to schedule a consultation, you can visit utphysicians.com. Simply call 888-488-3627. Derek and Lauren, over to you, and my heart is full. Isn't she a doll? Ours too, Corey.